So a lot of y'all were asking me leading up to NXT War Games this year. Was I going to watch it? Was I going to live stream it? Were we going to do it on the main channel? And to be honest with you, it wasn't going to happen. Uh, it, it wasn't going to be something that I was going to be interested in. And for the first time in quite some time, for me, since maybe 2017, I didn't care about NXT. I didn't care about an NXT takeover. And that, for me, is a signal of what's to come on my channel when it comes to NXT-related content. Let's, let's get into why I don't really care for NXT anymore. What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, um, yeah, I won't probably be watching NXT like that anymore. Me personally, I just I just don't care for the brand. When they rebranded it to NXT 2.0 under Vince McMahon's creative mind, now I use the word creative loosely. I already knew it was done. Once they wanted Triple H to step down and then him, you know, suffering, uh, I believe it was a heart attack, him dealing with that, I knew it was done. I knew it was done. And not to say the new version of NXT is bad by any means. I'm sure there are some noticeable stars and talent that they're trying to push. And I'm pretty sure it's entertaining to some people. For me, I just, I just don't care. I don't care. And it sucks because I should care. I think it's not just them calling it NXT 2.0, give it in a new uh, splash of paint that's kind of like not getting me hyped to check out anything NXT related. I think it's a culmination of NXT at one point trying to compete with AEW, losing their identity. I think that's when things started to really take a turn and not in a good direction because it wasn't about making sure that they took care of the proper storylines and kept creating new stars. Granted, they were trying to in the process. It was more so about competing with AEW and that's where they went wrong. That's where Triple H, I will give Triple H some criticism here. They went wrong with that. Granted, I'm sure Vince McMahon was really pushing for them to beat AEW in the ratings. That's that's really what it was. And they were losing. The majority of the time, they were losing because they were trying to compete with another company that they shouldn't have been trying to compete with. AEW is doing its own thing. They're trying to cater to the wrestling fan, a hardcore wrestling fan. NXT was that for WWE fans. If you cared about actual wrestling and, and good storytelling, you watched NXT for the most part. That's just what it was. And they were trying to compete with AEW, and I felt like they were forcing things, and they were losing their way, in my personal opinion. I feel like others felt like that as well. So that was, a, that was the start of the downturn. And then after that, you have the recent releases, you know, due to... Uh, to um due to budget cuts and you know we had you know the whole covid situation that kind of really slowed things down for nxt uh in my opinion not having as many people there and then they started letting people there and ultimately they only started performing out of the performance center with the crowd or whatnot at full sale and stuff like that and you know i i miss the nxt takeovers with the big crowds that was that's what made NXT for me so enjoyable. My very first time seeing an NXT takeover in like 2017, I believe it was WrestleMania weekend. I was actually on vacation with the homie Doug. We was in Florida, and I made it my mission when I got back home to watch WrestleMania because I didn't really get to see it. And then I wanted to check out NXT because everybody was talking about it was the best night for wrestling that weekend. It usually is. And to see, I hadn't heard crowds like that so excited. And I didn't know the characters, the wrestlers like that. And I was just, I was amazed. And from there, I started checking out NXT on the regular. Because I'm like, this is, this is what I need. This is the fix I need. You know what I'm saying? So, from there, I watched every single takeover. Every single one. From 2017 on to now. Till recently, uh, um, last night. That was the first... Last night was the first NXT TakeOver I did not watch since 2017. And it's just, 
it sucks it, it really it really does suck so to not see those type of crowds during the nxt takeover like we used to it, it kind of doesn't hype me up to want to see them in the future and then to be honest with you i don't even care to get invested in any of these wrestlers anymore because they all end up getting released if it doesn't work out on the main roster they all end up getting released or they change their character or they change their gimmick to something that's super cringe on the main roster i can't care i cannot care i i know for a fact uh tomaso has said in the past he will never go to the main roster he'll he'll just retire he'll leave nxt and johnny gargano going to the main roster you can that's career suicide he might as well go to aew bro like the people that you care about and invest time into on NXT, it doesn't matter. Because either Vince is not going to like what they got going on and going to try to change their character or gimmick that worked in NXT. They don't even give them a chance to really just really go with this person. Like, it doesn't matter. So what's the point of getting invested in these characters and wrestlers if they're just going to get dropped anyway? These last recent drop like their last recent releases with karen cross keith lee people that i was getting interested in now that they're gone i was like, all right well fuck it i don't i don't care no more so what's the point that's another reason why i don't watch nxt because i don't care you can have someone great in nxt everyone's been telling me la night is fantastic i haven't seen too much of them i'm like that's cool but what are they gonna do when he gets to the main roster doesn't matter. He can be the greatest in NXT. You get to the main roster. If you ain't got some type of protection backstage from Vince, which no one does, realistically, damn near, then it doesn't matter. You, you're out of there. Out of there. You're done. So I, I can't really get invested in the characters and the wrestlers because it's not a guarantee that they're going to be around for a while. Honestly, with the culmination of all those things of NXT 2.0 reeking of Vince McMahon's cringe for me personally and and I I, I just I just I really don't care I, I just don't man and it sucks and I'm sure there's probably some good things on this new version of NXT but I don't care I I just I don't I'm sorry y'all I know y'all may be disappointed I know a lot of you guys were asking me yesterday are you gonna watch I if I didn't respond there's a good that was your answer you know i was actually out i was actually out and about having a good time enjoying myself because i was like you know what i'm not even going to sit here and i'm i heard some good things about the show but overall i still don't care i don't i'm sorry that's just my personal standpoint on nxt that is why i won't be watching nxt like that unless you guys are really just flooding my inbox like, yo, you got to check out NXT's. NXT's been really good. Please check it out. Please check it out. Only then, but outside of that, I'm I'm not, bro. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I'm, I'm kind of just over the whole NXT 2.0. This is just, for me, it's, it's the end of an era, man. It's the end of WWE actually having some, some creative ideas in developmental that was getting individuals over not to say that they still don't have it but i just feel like nxt 2.0 is literally vince mcmahon saying i can do this myself i got this i'm gonna you know what i'm saying i'm gonna make sure that i you know we take this brand to the next level and it's not going to the next level i know there's been reports that people are not having fun like the the wrestlers are not actually having fun like they used to on this new version of NXT, and I, I can, I'm willing to bet that that's probably an accurate uh, statement, an accurate uh, um, situation for these wrestlers. They're probably not as having as much fun as they were when Triple H was running it. It seemed like they was enjoying what they were doing, and now it's just like, I don't know, man. I, I just, I just don't care. I'm sorry, y'all. So comment down below. Let me know if you guys did watch NXT War Games. Are you guys liking the new version of NXT 2.0? Do you guys prefer the old version of NXT? Do you even watch NXT now? I really want to know. 
and uh you know kind of discuss in the comment section but for me i'm done i checked out uh yeah nxt for me is is a done deal but appreciate all love and support road to 70k appreciate y'all kicking with me see y'all next one